Hi, I'm Nina. Um, Nina Geometriva. I'm a designer at Google. I come from Macedonia, but now I live in Singapore. What tools? Ah, oh, what am I using? I'm using Sketch, I guess. Sketch, um, Illustrator. What else do I use? We use some inter internal uh, Google tools for like, um, for putting together flows or sharing. But yeah, most of the time it's Sketch nowadays. So there are two paths that you usually can take. Um, as you climb up the ladder in, in any company. It's the path of a manager, where you get to lead teams and then bigger teams. And then there's the path of an individual contributor, where you still get up the ladder, but you continue contributing and working by yourself. Um, so I've usually struggled which direction I want to go, because I, I feel like I never want to stop designing and kind of switch to, to managing, but then I quite like working with people and I quite like developing this social aspect of, of me. Um, so previously, whenever I was in a lead position, most of the time it's about leading people. But in Grab, it was more about just contributing and having a bigger voice in a way. But in past experiences, leading people is, is, is very tough because you, you need to understand, first of all, you need to know your craft really well. You need to know the, the, the direction, you need to understand the dynamics of the team, you need to understand where the company is going and basically align your ideas, your efforts with that. And in startups, very often that's hard because the company itself doesn't know where it's going. So there's a lot of um, uncertainty but that's, I guess, one of the major skills that you need as a lead to be able to deal with uncertainty. I think important skills in designers are just how you think as a person. How good is your process of, of judging things, of finding faults, of finding solutions? I think problem solving is the number one skill. And designers is a bit broad, so I'm, I'm talking about interaction designers. But coming from a visual design background, I would say that the, the requirements for a visual designer are fairly different. Visual design is a bit more on the execution side of things. And even though you do require problem solving and, and thinking and, and framing problems, you're not spending all that time like on spreadsheets, thinking about how to approach problems, how to understand user needs, how to uh, make sense out of things. But you focus more on just translating um, thoughts and, and, and goals and outcomes into something that visually makes sense, that, that's aligned with, with the goal, right? And as a visual designer, I've, I've been developing these skills a lot, but then when I switched to, to focus a bit more on product, I realized that there's a whole new set of skills that I need to learn. And that's very human, very social, very interesting, but it's very different. So depending on, on the role, depending on the, the level, depending on even the, the team, the context that this designer will work in, there's always a little bit of a different requirement. But I think if I had to kind of stream it down into this one single thing, it would be problem solving. 